Cancer, hello, beautiful souls. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. If you're new here, hey, my name's Zachary. It's nice to meet you. And if you are returning, it's good to see you guys again. Pull up a chair. Welcome to my table. So my cancer friends, I have a few messages that came through in meditation for you guys, channel messages, and then we'll get into Oracle cards and such as we do. So the first thing, um, well, to start off, I'll, I'll just um, express there has been uh, some frustration actually coming through or edginess with this message and it's surrounding uh, the clarity, I suppose, of the message. And I'll, as an example, I'll give you here. Um, the first thing that came through was it sounded like dun dun. It's not it wasn't a word. It was just dun dun. <laughs> so I'm sitting here going, OK, dun dun. That sounds great. Um, diadem disdain and actually dead end all came through with that that so um, as I was sitting on that I mean not that much frustration you guys you know surrounding this but I do like to get a nice clear message <laughs> when I do channel messages so uh, da is what is coming through the next thing that came through was holy O <laughs> and um, orator so with Holy O, I do think about um, something in the realm of like an orgasm. I don't know if there is some, maybe that's where the edginess <laughs> and frustration is coming through. There is a little bit of frustration that needs to be worked out in a physical sense. If you, if you catch my drift um, between those who are old enough to make that decision, obviously in a responsible way. Um, orator coming through as well. This is somebody who is a public speaker and somebody who is eloquent and has a great deal of skill surrounding public speaking. So maybe you are a public speaker or you're going into a situation where you need to speak publicly. I feel like this that is being highlighted here, especially with Dun Dun coming through. Uh, maybe actually you're somebody who needs to do something in the form of public speaking and uh, there is fear, anxiety. This is a I think a pretty normal fear for most people, public speaking, something about being clear, uh, enunciating properly, speaking, speaking clearly gets your message across in a clear way. OK, so let's get into this a little bit further. I am curious to see where this goes. Um, and then in polling Oracle cards as well, there was um, there's been this like like the message is shifting. And so I've taken or changing even, I've taken time to clear the space and move any um, mischievous energy out of the way here too. It doesn't quite feel like it's mischievous as much as uh, it is this like rapid fire mind change. Maybe you are changing your mind right now. Maybe there is a need to become a little bit more um, centered in your pursuit. So Wild, un wild unknown archetype that came out here. You guys have the seed. This is what came through. So this does also, all of these rings, reminds me of like an O, oh, holy O, oh, right? Um, the, seed is, the seed is about growth. There is all of the information, whatever, whatever is needed here for growth. This is already inside of you is what the seed talks about. Um, there's also a portion in the book that mentions bumping up against this growth edge. So the seed will bump up against its edge and need to penetrate through that, right? Um, I feel like for for you guys, for someone here, for some of you here, there's growth that's happening. And that may be part of where the frustration is coming into. You're wanting to bust through this growth edge in a specific way, and maybe it's not happening that way, but the growth is still happening. If that's the case, I do feel like I've been doing here for the past little bit, taking a nice breath, right? Um, that fr And this frustration or, or edginess was not mine, is not a part of how I was feeling before I got started here. So this is why I feel like this is something that you guys may be experiencing, whether it's lack of physical connection. Uh, maybe th there's growth in that area where you're looking to develop with with a partner as well, and it's not happening. Let's move a little further into this. So uh, we'll go with this one here. This is the familiar field Oracle card deck <laughs> for cancer here, please spirit additional messages. The Crow, hey, Clarity, Destiny, and Clairvoyance. So, okay, 
I'm going to pull, uh, actually, I'm going to pull another animal card here in the animal, wild unknown animal spirit oracle deck. I'm having a hard time talking today, I guess. Uh, for Panther, please, spirit. This one here? No, this one. Which one? Start again. That's fine with me. <laughs> we can start again. I thought there was only two that came out, but there was like five. So um, they were just all stacked neatly. For cancer here, please, Spirit. On the bottom. Starfish. Okay. So starfish and crow here. Um, the component of clarity is definitely standing out to me. The crow is uh, the shaman site, essentially. Magical site. Magic in general. Um, and then the starfish here, this is uh, this can be slipping into vanity even. It doesn't have to be straight up vanity, but um, the way that something looks being a little bit more important than what is what it is or what's going on. The way that I am connecting this or taking this is um, like I was saying with your growth, you're wanting to grow in a specific way and it's not happening that way, but there's growth that's happening. I feel like it doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside to others or to you. And I feel like this is a little bit more of a hang up for whoever this message is for, for you individually, Cancer. Um, a perfectionist kind of approach to something might be hanging you up. Okay, let's get a little bit further into this. Uh, let's move into the tarot, actually. Which deck will we start with? For Cancer. We're going to do the Curious Travels tarot here to start. For Cancer, please, Spirit. Additional messages. High Priestess here at the split. Um, so kind of that clairvoyance component of the crow here. And Destiny. That Destiny is really standing out to me, too. But it feels like... It feels like it's like behind a bunch more information here. So that may come out a little bit later here in the reading. Maybe whatever we're talking about here is, is to do with your destiny. It feels like there is this push to move to your destiny and all of the steps that are required to get there, the growth that's required for you to get there. Um, that's the part where there's a lot of attention being placed on how it looks or how it's coming out. Okay. For cancer here, please spirit. And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you for your love and support as always. There's the devil there too at the split. So yeah, your shadow. I feel like there's a bit more control over a process of some sort right now in your growth. Uh, maybe expansion of your spiritual abilities here too with clairvoyance and clarity. And, um, there's a need to let go, okay? There's a need to let go. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link in the description of this video. You can also click on the join button next to the subscribe button under this video. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you're looking for some assistance with something a bit more personal, I do have personal readings open and available. You can check out my website. There's a link in the description of this video as well. All right, let's do the damn thing. Okay, answer. <laughs> So at the bottom here, we have the devil. Well, 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 cancer. <laughs> so this is your hope, hopes and dreams. With the devil, this is our shadow, essentially. It can be abuse of power. Um, I mean, I would throw vanity could be a part of this too. So in your, in your hope component here, I'm feeling like there is a desire to override through force of some sort, the shadow. Um, I am getting with the clairvoyance and the crow here. Somebody is wanting or is going through this process of growth, spiritually speaking, with your gifts. And you're wanting to either blast through that more quickly or as that's developing, you're wanting to throw the shadow away. You're wanting to um, overpower the shadow is the way that I'm taking this here with the devil. You're wanting to free yourself from... And this could be varying degrees, freeing yourself from anything that is in the shadow. This could be something from addictions to abuse of power. Okay, let's get into it a little bit further. We can't totally escape our shadow. Um, we are here to learn balance. So whoever that message is for to start, just keep that in mind, right? We can't, we can't um, make our shadow disappear. It will always be here. 
All right, for Cancer, please, Spirit. This is the Untamed Tarot we'll be working with. I thought there was something on the side there. Uh, for Cancer, messages for Cancer here, please, Spirit. And this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind as well. You are very intelligent. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which of these messages are for you. And if they're not, you can get them the hell out of here, okay? Feel free to just leave it behind. Don't leave a comment along with it, but just leave it behind, okay? <laughs> if it didn't resonate with you, I don't need to hear about it. That's okay. <laughs> All right, for cancer here, please, spirit. Oh, and I did forget to mention here before we move on here, um, the channel. We did hit a year, October 6th here. So thank you guys so much. Absolutely mind blowing here. This experience has been so far and to celebrate, I am giving away a free reading. So if you're interested in entering for that, I do have instructions to do so on a separate video. I will link that in the description of the video and I'll also put it uh, down in this, this corner. Down in this corner? Yeah, it'll be down in this corner here at the end of the video, okay? All right, page of wands here at the bottom. So this is your fear or aversion. Um, page of wands, this is um, it's getting excited about a new journey. Having that motivation or um, like creativity. The What I'm getting is uh, your well is tapped, like you're burnt, you're burnt out. Being in your fear or aversion, there's, there's a need for some energy or creativity, or maybe you feel that there is, and it's just not available. And this is where this anxiety is coming through. It kind of feels like this energy that you're looking for in the page of wands is being well wasted, I guess, um, towards your trying to force your shadow out. It's not about forcing the shadow out. It's about learning how to assimilate every component of ourselves into better balance. If you are somebody here who is trying to reach only for the light, you're doing it wrong. Okay. It's not, that's not to say that, you know, I think there's this misconception that the shadow is evil and that's not true. It's just not. Um, does evil lie in the shadow? Well, it can. I think evil can also be in the light though. <laughs> Both the light and dark have light and shadow. So, um, in this instance, if that's you, if you feel like you're trying to push only, I'm only good. I'm, you know, only, only light, only God, only universe, whatever. Uh, there is a need for you, especially my cancer friends to examine that, that energy is, um, being wasted. Like I said, and it seems that you need it for something else. Well, for growth, you're going through a big growth spurt right now. <laughs> okay. So in general, general to start, you have the lovers, lovers. I do love this deck too, by the way, by the by, my cancer friends, lovers here. So this is being at a crossroads. Um, speaking of balancing the light and the shadow here, well, the light is divine masculine. The shadow is divine feminine. So it's feeling like whether you are looking at this, like there's evil in the shadow that you're trying to avoid with the devil um, or if you're aware enough to see that it is the divine feminine, the divine feminine is the shadow and there are light and shadow to every, um, to the light and the dark as well. So with this coming through, this is balancing those energies. So we're totally talking about that. You guys, yes, it feels like there is a push to doing one motion more than the other. And in this day and age, regardless of your bits and baubles, my friends, um, we all have divine masculine and feminine within us and capabilities within us. The divine masculine is the ability to take action, to move forward with something in the form of action. Divine feminine is going to be anything that is in a state of receptivity, healing, intuition, right? So uh, it feels like somebody with, with the crow coming through here and intuition, it feels like there's this growth of the divine feminine or healing that's coming up. And it's being stopped for some reason, maybe because, um, well, we live in a, in a time where it's all about now, like get it done now, um, push, push, push. It's all about action, that divine masculine energy. 
it feels like someone here is is hung up on um, what it is everybody else is expecting them to do. And I understand like what is kind of coming through is a demand from a job, especially. Well, I need to do this. Well, I need to show up to work. I need to put my best in. Um, and I understand all of those things as well. This is calling for balance, you guys. This is calling for balance. Uh, this eye here actually as well is standing out to me on the lovers. There's... Um, it's reminding me of the eye of Shiva. So destruction, destruction also being creation. It feels like there is a boundary or a restriction towards your experience with these energies that needs to be well rebalanced, right? Um, neither one of those energies are better than the other or worse, but it's feeling like some divine feminine needs to come through here. Okay, let's keep going. Ten of Pentacles as well. I like to see both also, actually, real quick. Uh, lovers could be a relationship too, for some of you coming through, but I get more the other component of the message. Ten of Pentacles, this is your ultimate material and spiritual abundance. This is uh, This comes through sometimes for me as destiny. Your destiny. So, hey, here we are. Your destiny here with the crow. I'm feeling like back with this the seed here, um, we're bumping up against this growth edge. And as an example with the masculine and feminine energies that I'm talking about. So the growth edge could be, as an example, um, that frustration, that uh, edginess that I was talking about at the beginning of the reading, that could be a side effect from um, not allowing the divine feminine to come through and, and be herself, right? To express emotions, to uh, to heal, like I said, our intuitive nature, to relax, to receive. Um, let's keep moving forward. Okay. Good stuff. So good stuff for you guys at this time. Uh, or actually, before, real quick, before I move into that, uh, I feel like my mind is just going all over the place. Maybe you guys are experiencing this too. With the Ten of Pentacles here again, I'm being connected to the starfish. There's something There's something about, because this could be your community, um, material abundance, like I said, is a part of that. It feels like somebody is behaving in a way that they feel they are expected to behave in. And it doesn't feel like it's a, cognitive, a cognizant thing here, like you're aware that uh, you are doing this intentionally. Maybe, maybe, maybe you are somebody who has a hard time um, expressing emotions, whether that is verbally or actually feeling them. And this doesn't have to necessarily be with anybody else around, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. Your destiny, whatever this means, and it's different for everybody, um, comes into focus as you focus a little bit more here, it feels on the divine feminine. It doesn't matter what this looks like to anybody from the outside. It doesn't matter what your family said was okay or not okay as you're being raised. It doesn't matter. None of it. Okay. Your friends, ex-lovers, current lovers. This is about you, my cancer friend. And as some, I mean, a, a deeply emotional sign, right? Uh, just to touch on that, this feels like some like you're feeling your emotions, right? Cancer, are you are you um, experiencing them real time, <laughs> or are you keeping them in a place where nobody else can access them? Maybe even you at times. This feels like the encouragement here is to feel emotion real time. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks; it truly doesn't. Coming from somebody who like <laughs> everybody's got something to say about myself um, now that I'm I'm out here and I'm going to stand by that. It really doesn't matter what anybody else has to say or how they feel about uh, what it is that you're doing or not doing. It can suck a butthole, right? <laughs> right. Cancer. OK, so good stuff for you guys at this time. You have eight of pentacles. So there could be some um, there could be some benefit at work for some of you, some development, positive development there at work. Um, I am getting a passion component to 
the the passion you put into work being in the good stuff here i feel like um whatever emotions or the, it feels like there are emotions excuse me that are not being expressed and because of that it's making it difficult for you to um, maybe follow your passions or feel your passion to know where to follow them. Being in the good stuff here, this is being highlighted here. You're being supported to turn towards that which does um, what which you do feel passionate about. For some of you, it could be maybe you're coming out of a, a cycle of, of burnout. Things are starting to get a little bit better. Having the page of wands here in your fear aversion, along with the burnout of the eight of pentacles, that makes me feel like somebody is, yeah. Somebody has been burnt out. Maybe you've been burned. Holio is standing out from the meditation here now too. Um, yeah, it could be a relationship. Maybe somebody was really disappointing towards you uh, or you were disappointed towards a situation. What I'm getting is kind of like cancer has a tendency to... Um, shut down from the exterior world when emotions get to a place that uh like towards another person as an example deeply emotional sign and i'm cancer venus here too so i feel this you guys when you're done with something it's kind of like a switch that's shut off there's no more emotion that's given to this person or this situation and i'm not saying that's right or wrong we all get to do whatever we want to do, but it's supporting what I'm saying here, that there's a request for more flow with the divine feminine. Say, say what you need to say. Say your piece. Tell someone to fuck off, right? <laughs> it's therapeutic. Um, it's okay to, you know, tell somebody how they made you feel and to tell them to go in peace, right? <laughs> right. Okay. So uh, to clarify the eight of pentacles in your good stuff, you have king of swords. This does feel like um, championing of the truth is something that comes to mind. The truth shall set you free. Totally. For somebody here, it does feel like something needs to be spoken surrounding how you're feeling in a situation. Be the leader that you need in that in that case. Uh, but the king of swords is uh, on the pursuit of, of truth and knowledge. They're very logical. They're um, excellent at solving mind puzzles. <laughs> I feel for, for those of you, this passion component is attached to. Um, getting logical about your passions. What do you want me to say about that? What do you want me to say about that? Apology, interesting. Forgiveness through mutual understandings, interesting. Because I was just talking about that with somebody else. Maybe it's on the other end for some of you. And an apology could be helpful or healing. Um, again, regardless of what side, maybe you you need the apology or you you need to give an apology. Cancer, um, shutting down, like I said would make it very difficult to do either one of those things, receive an apology or give an apology. You guys are going to know better which, which side of the fence you're on or if that applies to you. But with the logic towards your passion, what I'm feeling about that is um, things are being illuminated or clarified. And you have that here, clarity. Being clarified for you what it is that you are passionate about. And to move that rather than just in the heart in incorporating the head here too bringing it into an unstoppable force here which would be similar to moving the divine masculine and feminine energies into balance as well you know unstoppable unstoppable force speaking of unstoppable here what you don't see coming are in the dark queen of wands unstoppable unstoppable she is that bitch Genderless, of course. Confidence, authenticity as well coming through. So what you don't see coming or what is in the dark, what's in the dark is exactly what I've been talking about. It feels strongly here, you guys, in this process of our growth. <laughs> um, stepping into our own authenticity. Ooh. Choosing authenticity over connection. Yes. Uh, and I know that... Some people may disagree with that, but this is, we are coming into a time in our development or evolution 
where we're moving from surviving in the group to surviving through the self. Um, so in the past, it was all about, yeah, we got to fit into the herd or we're going to die. Anybody who's any different better bring it into line, right? We're done. We're done with that now. Um, and it seems here that spirit is saying your number has been drawn. It's your turn to step into yourself. Survival through the self. What is survival through the self? It's you experiencing authenticity to such a degree that everything else falls away, including connection with other people. You are not choosing a connection with a specific person over how you feel. If you have an issue with something, that is being expressed. You see what I'm saying? We're no longer sitting in situations where it don't work for us. <laughs> okay. And um, I love that stepping into this power. This is coming forward as you are letting the emotion come through. Um, and again, just to clarify, I know that you guys feel emotion or we feel emotion, right? Cancer. This is expressing it, which is a little trickier for cancer or can be. So three of wands comes through here to clarify what's in the dark. Expansion, you guys. Interesting. Um, well, no, never mind. Scratch that from the record. Um, expansion is what I was trying to say here. So in the dark, what you don't see is you are growing. <laughs> or that maybe expressing emotions is actually a form of growth for you. If it's making you scared to say something about how you feel, especially, this feels even more important for whoever that person is. The scarier it is, the more important it is for you to approach this. And the more relief and confidence comes when you allow that to happen for yourself, to stand up for yourself in healthy ways. So um, your challenge at this time, let's get into this here. Three of Cups. This is, okay, that, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. Uh, back to the striking from the record, because this is what I was going to say here. I was thinking Three of Cups for some reason. Um, both Three of Cups and Queen of Wands can represent... A third party, a third party influence. And that's kind of what I, I was going in to say that, but I was like, wait a minute. That's why. <laughs> and here we are. Here we are. Thank you, spirit. So there was a reason why that was coming through. Maybe there is a, a third party situation that's happened here for some of you as we're talking about apology and relationships too, and the holy O <laughs> and dun dun. I felt like that was kind of like dun 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 suspense, waiting for something. What is cancer going to do in this situation? Hmm? Obviously not for everyone, but it does feel being in the difficulty. There might be a third third wheel situation. OK. Um, ended up on a tricycle when all you wanted was the bicycle. <laughs> uh, so for some of you, I do feel that is the difficulty for others. I feel like this is making time, making reasons or just celebrating yourself for no reason at all. There may be some difficulty in celebrating yourself right now. Especially if you are in a relation, weird relationship situation here where that kind of stuff is happening. Okay. Uh, Nine of Cups comes through here next in your difficulty. This is making a wish. That wish coming, oops, that wish coming true. It's experiencing abundance before abundance shows up, knowing that that abundance is there for you. So you're feeling that as it's um, before it's coming forward. I feel when we're talking about the seed, the growth that the seed provides, you guys are going through this growth process right now. Um, part of what is difficult is feeling abundant because maybe this is painful because there's pain surrounding growth. I feel like there's some difficulty for some of you in seeing what's coming forward next, what's next for you, especially if you are wrapped up in a weird relationship situation here. And it doesn't necessarily have to be third party like cheating. It, it could be any sort of outside influence. Maybe you're in a relationship with somebody and the relationship gets pulled away because this other person is playing video games all day long. You see what I'm saying? So the video game console could be the third party. That's sort of what I'm feeling. Um, but back to the, the Nine of Cups here. There is a need to feel the abundance before it comes forward. And that's hard right now. I, I feel you guys, someone needs to just like let something out. 
emotion wise. This has been building up for quite some time. Write a letter and burn it or write a letter and send it. You know, every situation is going to be different. OK, I am going to pull um, an Oracle card here. Oh, I didn't grab the deck. One second. I grabbed every other deck except for the one I wanted. Blue Angel Oracle. So we'll grab a Blue Angel Oracle card here, and then I am going to move into an extended reading. Part du. If you want to join me there, you guys, I'd love to have you. If not, it was good to see you here. No worries. All right. For Cancer here, final piece of the message. What's going on for Cancer? Michael Descent. You actually did have two fallout here. Do you want both? Bottom. Okay. So not Michael Descent. We're putting that one back. Pathways of Light. I am going to read this from the book. Book. Divine Dimensions. So life holds many hidden dimensions, pathways of light that lead to other worlds and realities. These hidden dimensions are inside you and can be accessed through the spaces between your thoughts. When the mind is calm, you can enter a place beyond thought, a place that words cannot describe and your mind cannot contain. It is the multidimensional conscious awareness of your soul, the real you, beyond your earthly limitations. Become aware of your breath, breathe in light, just observe and relax. After a while, you will feel a sense of peace. You are in a state of grace. Your thoughts float away and turn to light. Each breath brings you deeper into peace. Angels appear. They are your bridge between the spiritual and physical worlds and will guide you to the heart of creation. Along pathways of light, you enter parallel universes. New galaxies are born inside you. There is so much love. Your vision is filled with light. There is a still point where you reach singularity, a place deep inside you from which all stems. So that, um, as it's talking about your vision filled with light, I'm drawn back to the uh, the devil here and your fear of or, or your hope here, as we talked about in the beginning. That point of singularity, that place deep inside you from which all stems, that place is all, right, is non-duality. And that's that's kind of what I was getting at here was like, if you're somebody who's reaching more for the light, trying to avoid the shadow, our goal is to be in the center as much as possible. Our goal here is to understand what it means as a dual creature to um, express our best non-duality. Okay, because where we come from it is a non-dual kind of situation. But here we are living within those energies. So cancer, my cancer friends, I love you guys so much. And I hope that this message is helpful. I feel like there were a lot of emotions coming through. So there's kind of buried experiences or expressions with where you guys are right now. Sorry if that came through kind of jumbled because I, I feel a little jumbled getting through this even. But anyhow, I'm going to move into the extended. So if you guys want to join me there, there are links in the description here. I do have them for sale individually as well as on the third tier of membership if you'd like access to all of them. And uh, readings are open and available if you want to check that out too. If this reading did resonate with you guys, if you could please like, share, comment, subscribe. I truly appreciate the support in helping to grow this channel. It is my goal. And I would not be doing this if it weren't for you guys. So I also have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description. If you feel called to donate and support the channel in that way, I truly appreciate it. It's not mandatory, but to those who do, I truly, truly appreciate it, you guys. It goes a long way, and I couldn't do this without you. All right. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all very, very soon. All right. Be well.